Hello, my name is Justin or Jfendi. Hello, my name is Joshua. Hello, I'm Frank. We are Team 313, more popularly known as the Interstellar Journeymen, and today we will introduce you to Cosmic Eyes, a probe that will meet today's need of quick and long-lasting interstellar exploration. Cosmic Eyes is a proposed interstellar probe that will bring fresh, new eyes to interstellar space. The probe will marry cutting-edge scientific instrumentation of our time with the most effective probe propulsion system available on the market today, which will allow us to reach and explore interstellar space in under 20 years guaranteed, faster than any previous mission. Once there, it will unlock the deep secrets of interstellar space, from the heliopause to the Kuiper belt, and send its findings back to Earth for at least 20 more years. This will pave the way for further probe missions into interstellar space and will ultimately prepare humanity to make the daring trek across interstellar space to reach different planets, stars, and even galaxies. Shown here is the CONOPS, or plan of operation, for our probe. Beginning with launch, the probe then transits to Jupiter in order to perform its gravity assist maneuver to gain velocity, ending with the probe reaching interstellar space and beginning its data collection mission. When it comes to existing hardware in the far reaches of our system and beyond, NASA has a few probes in or on the way to interstellar space. Both Pioneer 10 and 11 are currently defunct and no longer transmitting data, even though 10 is currently in interstellar space and 11 is on the way. Both Voyager probes are currently still operating in interstellar space and transmitting data, making them the current data gatherers in interstellar space. The only other current spacecraft on the way is the New Horizons probe, which passed Pluto in 2015. There are two main problems with existing spacecraft. The first is that both Voyagers and New Horizons are planetary exploration probes retasked with reaching interstellar space after completion of their primary mission. The second is that they have limited power supply. Both Voyagers are projected to run out of fuel by 2025, and New Horizons will run out of power eventually as well. Cosmic Eyes has the solution, as interstellar exploration is its primary task, and it will take over once New Horizons goes offline. Interstellar space is a vast, infinite region beyond our own solar system that has largely gone unexplored. The Cosmic Eyes mission will further the understanding of the scientific community with regards to what lies beyond our own solar system. Although there are other missions currently with similar goals, in the coming years, many of these existing missions will run out of power or reach the end of their lifespan which will lead to a blackout in data on interstellar space. Furthermore, with advancements in technology since the last missions into interstellar space, we can conduct and obtain data faster and more accurately. Using state-of-the-art ion thrusters and gravity assists, cosmic eyes will be set to reach interstellar space within 20 years. Along the way, cosmic eyes will carry out various surveys of planets it passes through with the use of its onboard sensors. Once the probe reaches interstellar space, Cosmic Eyes will start tirelessly gathering data with its sensors for at least another 20 years or more depending on its condition. Currently, the two space probes that are traversing through interstellar space, Voyager 1 and 2, are not only using technology dating back to the 70s, but their intended system objective more focused on exploring the outer gas giant planets in our solar system as opposed to purely exploring interstellar space. Even the New Horizons probe, which will reach interstellar space in the 2030s, has technology from the 90s and the 2000s, and was developed with a focus more towards a flyby of Pluto. However, there hasn't been a probe with a pure focus towards exploring interstellar space, and certainly no probe has visited interstellar space with the technology developed on Earth either in the last 10 years or technology that will be developed in the next few years. For instance, researchers at NASA's Glenn Research Center, as well as researchers from the Georgia Institute of Technology and University of Michigan, have been developing Hall effect ion thrusters that can produce greater thrust and operate for longer durations. Communication lasers typically used in low Earth orbit are now being developed and tested with much higher bandwidth capabilities. In addition, existing space technology, such as RTGs, probe cameras, and etc., are being improved on continuously, which will enhance the performance of such technologies that will be on board Cosmic Eyes. 
Usually probes are powered by solar panels. However, for a distant journey from the sun, this will not be viable. Instead, Cosmic Eyes will carry on two state-of-the-art radioscope thermoelectric generators or RTGs to provide power and heating. RTGs have been proven to be reliable in many previous missions and further development has made them cheaper and more efficient. New generations of RTGs have even more flexible designs that allow them to operate through the vacuum of space and planetary atmospheres, making RTGs the perfect power source for our missions. Shown here is the top list we need to determine the best source for our probe based on output, cost, durability, accessibility, and longevity. The most effective form of probe propulsion currently in operation today are ion thrusters. Onboard Cosmic Eyes, a powerful Xenon-based Hall Effect ion thruster, will bring the probe to interstellar space. Via a combination of ion thrusters and a gravity assist from Jupiter, the probe will be hurled to speeds in excess of over 500,000 miles per hour, which equates to 140 miles per second. The secret behind the Hall Effect ion thruster's extreme performance is a process known as propellant ionization. Propellant atoms, usually of an ionizable element such as xenon, are bombarded by electrons in order to eject positive ions from the thruster. Ion thrusters allow for a very high specific impulse compared to other propulsion methods, with current ion thrusters having a specific impulse of at least 8,500 seconds or more. However, a drawback that is currently being worked on by researchers is the ion thruster's low thrust, usually hanging around 0.5 newtons. Despite this, due to its high technology readiness level, with operational spacecraft already having used ion thrusters, the development that needs to occur for ion thrusters to be placed on board cosmic eyes can happen relatively quickly. To make a decision on which propulsion system to use, we used a topsis matrix with the criteria that included thrust, ISP, or specific impulse, longevity, technological readiness, and delta V, or change in velocity. Based on this, the ion thruster proved to be the best propulsion system to utilize for cosmic eyes. Cosmic eyes will make use of NASA's laser communications relay technology, a new technology currently under development that makes use of lasers to send signals over long distances, rather than a more traditional very high frequency or VHF radio antenna. In addition to having more bandwidth, there are also communication lasers being tested now that have shown the ability to function effectively at a fraction of the power consumption used by a radio transmitter, meaning that it could stretch the fuel further, prolonging the lifetime of the spacecraft. Just to go a little further in depth into the decision-making process, included here is the top six matrix used to select it. As you can see, each alternative is measured based on cost, readiness, bandwidth, range, and power needs. Due to the nature of its mission, Cosmic Eyes presents some unique risks. Because its primary goal is to leave the solar system, once it has left Earth's gravity well, recovery and repair are simply not possible. So firstly, all systems will be thoroughly tested before and after system integration, Secondly, we intend to only use systems that have proven to be reliable in space. In addition to these measures, cosmic eyes will have some degrees of redundancy, such as two radioisotope thermal generators instead of one, to ensure that single system failure does not necessarily lead to total system failure. It is through these methods that we intend to avoid mission termination before 40 years from launch. Again, the constraint is cosmic eyes will be at least 50 kilograms. However, the largest constraint with the mission will be obtaining approval for use of radioactive materials and procuring them from the federal government. The price tax for the Cosmic Eyes mission will be around $750 million, which when compared to other missions which had similar goals, the Cosmic Eyes mission has a greater price performance ratio. Cosmic Eyes will bring interstellar space exploration into the 21st century. With a price to performance ratio never heard before in the aerospace industry, this probe will surpass previous probes in terms of propulsion, communications, power, and instrumentation. Its enhanced ion propulsion system will achieve the golden egg of high impulse and decently high thrust, making it an ideal choice as an interstellar probe. With this, it will shatter records and break barriers that in the past would have been deemed impossible to breach. Cosmic Eyes represents the first in a new generation of space probes that will truly open the depths of interstellar space to humanity. Cosmic eyes, an interstellar probe for our century.